Hey there, Porter. Thank you for meeting with me this morning. This is Porter from uh, Pronto. And if you look down in the left-hand corner here, there is a link called Pronto. So, yeah. Porter, could you tell us a little bit about Pronto and maybe walk us through it a little bit? Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, so, yeah, my name's Porter, and I work with Pronto. I work with hundreds of schools throughout the country and helping them get up and running on Pronto. So I'm excited to be working with you guys. Um, Pronto is essentially, it's just a student communication tool that integrates directly inside of your Canvas course. So as you can see, um, she's hovering over the little Pronto icon there on the bottom left. Um, Pronto works both directly inside of Canvas as well as directly on your mobile device. So whether you use an Apple or an Android device, or if you just want to use it directly inside of Canvas, all of those work. Um, there's also a, a standalone web option, which Jan, I'm not sure if I've told you that. It's, it's chat.trypronto.com, and that's how you can log into just the, the standalone web version, which works the same. But yeah, it's, it's just a super... Um, familiar feeling type of a chat tool for students. Um, I, I definitely recommend that you download the mobile app. That's where most of the usage takes place, but it's just a great way for you to be able to stay connected with your teacher, stay connected with each other. If you're working on group projects together, it's a great way to create groups in there and connect with each other that way. You can share files and then there's even live video streaming, um, sort of like what Janet and I are doing, but directly inside of Pronto. Awesome. So I'm going to show my phone here. I've got a lot of apps on my phone, but there is an app here called Pronto. So I just opened it up. You're not seeing it so clearly. We're going to see it more on the actual screen here, but this will be most likely how you as a student will get to Pronto because one of the things that Porter, you mentioned is that there are push notifications. And so I'm going to have you walk me through it using this particular app. But again, I really encourage you to get it on your phone or if not, just on your computer. And then that way you can keep in contact with your classmates and me easily because I will, I'll, I'll be notified. I'm always notified if somebody's on Quanto. So, okay. So Perfect. I'm, so I'm, I'm, yeah. Here. So, so I was just, yeah. And I'm sorry. I was just gonna mention that if you're inside of Canvas, um, you'll actually see Pronto show up anywhere where you are in Canvas. You don't have to be in a particular course. So um, if you actually go out and go to the home page, or if you jump into another course or anywhere inside of, of Canvas, you'll continue to see the little Pronto icon. Um, if you have Pronto closed, like what she currently has, she doesn't have it open, and somebody were to send you a message, uh, whether they sent it from their mobile device or through Canvas, you're actually going to get a little, it's almost like a desktop notification that's going to swipe out from the bottom, or sorry, the top right of your Canvas screen. And it'll let you know who sent the message and then a preview of what that message is. And then that'll slowly fade away. But then next to the little Pronto icon, you'll see a badge notification with the number of unread messages that you have there. Um, so, Janet, why don't you go ahead and, and click on Pronto, and we'll show what it looks like once you open it up. All right. I'm going to move us out of the way here. So, the first time you click on it, it's actually going to have you, um, like, accept the terms and conditions. Janet, you probably already did this. Um, and then I, and it encourages you to download the mobile app is the second page, which, as, Jan, as your teacher said, uh, definitely encouraged. We definitely encourage you to download the mobile app so you can be connected wherever you are. But then once you do that, it'll open up to Pronto, which is what we're looking at right here. So you can see she's inside of this classroom discussion. There's no messages that have been sent yet, um, but we'll go ahead and do some exercises here in a second. Before you do that, if you don't mind, up at the top left of the Pronto chat box, there's three horizontal lines there. If you don't mind clicking on that, Janet. All right. That is going to expose what we call the drawer. And the drawer is essentially the way that we organize all of the different groups that you're a part of. So if you're a student and you're enrolled in three courses there at Cerritos College, you're going to see by default at least three groups there. And you can see that they're organized by category. So um, if, you, if you don't mind collapsing and expanding a couple of those categories, 
sure. you can kind of get an idea of how of how they're organized here. So and you can see she's enrolled in a lot. You probably aren't going to see <laughs> as a student as many courses as your teacher is seeing. But if she clicks like click on the category with the little drop down carrot, arrow, yep, just like that. So you can expand and collapse them. Um, if you've been added into any groups inside of a Canvas course, you'll actually see those groups show up underneath the course category as well. So I think we were only seeing it looked like one group for each of those categories. Right. But occasionally, if you've been added into other groups and stuff, you'll see multiple groups there. Um, but again, by default, you'll at least be in a classroom discussion. So um, why don't we go into this particular course? So it looks like we're in Introduction to Literature. Yes. Let me make sure I'm in the correct one. Got the right one. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. And then we can just start chatting with the classroom. And um, when you send a message in Pronto, it sends a push notification on mobile devices as well as inside of Canvas. So yeah, Janet, go ahead and send a message here. All right. I always mess up typing. I always mess up typing when people are watching me. Me too. <laughs> the pressure. It doesn't, matter how long, it doesn't matter how long I've been doing it. That's very true. Okay. So I, I did that. I can add a little emoji if I want to, a little GIF if I want to. So if I click on that. Internet's going a little slow on your end, but it is because of Zoom. Zoom always does that. It makes everything slower. Does it? This will gotcha. make it it'll be faster as students do it. Yeah, normally it's a pretty fast process. Um, you can also see while she hovers over a message, there's a, a few little options up at the top right. So you can give like a reaction to this. So if you click on the little smiley face, you can give a thumbs up or a heart or a thumbs down. Um, you can also delete messages that you've sent. If you accidentally sent something that you didn't mean to send and you want to go and delete it, um, you can go ahead and do that. And then that little arrow, um, that allows you to forward messages on to other groups that you're a part of. So um, Janet, if, if you teach maybe a couple of classes and it's the same class and you send a long message to one group and you want to send the same message to your other classes as well, if you click on the arrow, it allows you to forward that message on to other groups. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, and so the other really great thing is that we can actually attach things here. So you can share, you know, let's say you're working on a Google Doc of some sort and you would like to attach it or is that is that more for like a Word document? It's more for a document. Oh, it's, it supports, yeah, we support all major file types. So whether you're gonna like a Word document, I mean, you can share a Google document, but I think it'll actually just be a link to that Google document. So it'll open it up, I think. Uh, you'd have to double check on that, but right. yeah, you can upload PDFs and PowerPoints, Excel, Word, all of that sort of stuff. Um, and like you mentioned, we sync, if you're using your mobile device, your phone, um, you'll notice that when you click on the attachment tool, if you click on browse, It'll open up all of the file repositories that your phone is synced with, the cloud repositories. So things like Google Drive or iCloud Drive or OneDrive or whatever you might use to pull in things from the cloud. Um, you can do that from your mobile device as well as here. Like you can see, you've got your iCloud Drive there. You can pull in from there as well. All right. Thank you very much. And what have students been saying about using Pronto? You know, the, most students that, that I talk to and the feedback that I hear from schools is that they just like using Pronto way more than any other communication tool um, that schools typically provide. Um, I know that email is typically like the main form of communication and a lot of students don't check email. When I was in school, I never checked my email. Um, you probably send out emails every once in a while, Janet, and you have no idea if anybody actually saw it. And same goes with you, students. You probably send emails and you don't know whether the person you sent it to actually saw the email. Um, so it's, it's a very familiar type of a tool. It's the type of tool that you're probably used to using outside of class if you use 
you know, different social media type of tools um, or, or real-time chat tools like Instagram or, or Facebook Messenger or um, WhatsApp or whatever it might be. This is sort of designed to feel like that, but it plugs right into Canvas. And so, yeah, we hear a lot of really great feedback from students um, that they like to use it. Um, another thing that I hear a lot from students is that a lot of times students, they feel this intimidation factor from their teacher. And, you know, it's kind of this authoritarian figure and they're afraid to reach out. And when they do reach out, it's usually through an email and it's this really formal email and they feel kind of intimidated. Pronto really helps break down those barriers a little bit because they'll probably see a little bit of your personality come out by you sharing like this gift here. They'll be like, oh, my teacher isn't just an academic scholar, but she actually has a personality and she's fun and she's nice. And, and so we've, we've noticed that teachers and students typically connect um, a lot better through Pronto than they do through other forms of communication. Thank you so much. I am going to also include a link to a video with a student a little bit later on. So we have a couple of videos for you to look at, everyone. And I am going to close this out. And is there anything else you'd like to share with us before we end? Uh, the only other thing that I would mention is if you open Pronto back up, um, you'll notice that on the left hand side, there's profile photos. So if you scroll up just a little bit okay. to where you sent that message. So you'll see that she has her little profile photo there. Um, if at any time you want to break out into a one-on-one -on -one conversation, so maybe you want to jump into a one-on-one -on -one conversation with your teacher or with another student in your class, um, you clicked on your own profile photo, so you just see an edit option here. But if you clicked on somebody else's, you would see a message tool there or a message button. So if you wanted to jump into a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody directly from the classroom discussion, you can do that from there. And then the, the final thing is if you do that, and you don't need to do it right now, but the live video, the little camera right. button there, if you ever want to jump into a live video conference, whether it's with your teacher or with your classmates, if you click on that, it'll actually open a separate tab, and then you'll enter a, a video conference session, sort of like what we're in right now. But yeah, other than that, um, have fun with it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, and uh, um, you've got an awesome teacher. Thank you so much, Porter. Okay, so I, I'm gonna now, I'll trim the rest. I'm just, I'm gonna yeah. stop it there. Yeah. Thank you for that. Um, yeah. You know what I like about this is, and so this is feedback too, is that I, I'm hoping the school will keep this, right? They're, keep, they're putting it out right now. We'll see if they end up yeah. doing it, obviously. That's, that's the hope is that you're, you're sending out a lot of these lines and hopefully people end up keeping this. But what I like is I usually have students share phone numbers with you know one or two other people. So if they, you know, if the, they don't know what they've missed or you know just to find out and that kind of thing. But I don't exactly like to do that because every once in a while you get a stu student who's sort of cringy and bothers somebody. You know, I tell them don't bother yeah. them for stalking. But if we keep pronto, they can just use pronto. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So I really like that. Yep. So I really appreciate that. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, good. Well, hopefully that was helpful. And that's what oh, yeah. you were sort of looking for. Absolutely. It certainly was. <laughs> so thank you. I know you're busy. Thanks for being willing to meet. I appreciate that. No, you're, you're very welcome. I appreciate you 